Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. Today I want to show you an all new Photoshop template called the Distressed Border Automator. It speeds up the process of adding a transparent textured border to your t-shirt designs, poster designs, or illustrations. My favorite way to use it is for photo based t-shirt designs. When you're done, you can even save the file out as a transparent PNG, which is perfect for printing t-shirts with Amazon merch or any other direct to garment t-shirt printer. This template comes with 35 pre-built borders, and these borders are also supplied as separate vector files for people who want to use them in Illustrator or Corel Draw. But let me show you the Automator file for Photoshop, and I'll show you how it works. So here I've got the Distress Border Automator file open in Photoshop, and the first thing I'm going to want to do is open my Layers panel. So if you don't have that open already, just go Window, Layers. And in here, you'll notice some layer groups. So let me collapse that. Basically, there's a background color and you can turn that on or off. And if you wanna change the color of that background, just double click on that icon and here I'll just change it to black. You'll notice a layer group called choose a border. So let's click on that little arrow to expand it. In here, there are 24 transparent borders. So you can just turn on and off the visibility to see how these look. There's different ones. There's, there's photo frames. There's just worn, torn paper textures. There's paint streaks. And I really like this one. It's called Chunky Paint Roller. So the template has an image built in here, but let's say we want to put in our own photo or illustration or like a, like a poster design. What we can do is just go to a file. I took this photo in San Onofre, California. Good little surf spot. So you just want to copy that, Command C, and then go back to the Automator file and go down to where it says highlight this layer and paste in your art. So let's just highlight that and go Command V to paste in our art. We can turn off this background image because we don't need it anymore. You'll notice these frames are either vertical, horizontal, or square format. But the way this template is set up is you, you can scale the borders. So let's say this chunky paint roller, I wanted to make it more of a square. What I can do is just go Command T and we'll have to zoom out a little bit and we can just squash that so it's more of a square. I'm gonna undo that. Let me choose a different border here. I'm going to choose this ink roller border here and you'll notice it has a really nice subtle kind of ink roller texture along the edge. And just to make this more of a t-shirt design, what I'll do is I'll grab a little logo that I have and just copy that out of Illustrator, go back into Photoshop. And what I want to do is I'll just paste that as pixels into this document and then scale it down here and click enter to apply it. Let's say we're sending this design out to print at a screen printer or maybe like a DTG, like direct to garment printer, such as Amazon Merch. What I'd want to do is hide the background color and then you can just go file, export, quick export as PNG. Then I'll just name the file, surfing, and then click save. So if you open that back up in Photoshop, you'll see that the transparency is still there. And I'll show you one more thing. So I have this vintage photo of some guys surfing in Waikiki. Um, let's just select all and then copy it. Go back to the automator. Let's go down to our image here, take off the visibility and go command V to paste in our image. And you'll see that the image is horizontal, but we have a vertical border. And the nice thing about this template is you can turn and scale all the borders. So we'll just go command T on that same border and just hold down shift so that we get it perfectly horizontal. And I'll just, scale it down vertically to match the dimensions of that photo. 
click return to apply that. Um, this isn't San Onofre, it's Waikiki in Hawaii. So let's put in some different type. Got this surfs up, that's pretty perfect. Just copy that and we'll just paste that in. Oh, let me show you one more thing. So there are opaque borders in this template as well. So I'll just turn on this one called photo frame, which is pretty perfect because this is a vintage image. So it goes really well with the photo. And you'll see some of that image is overlapping a little bit. So let's just transform that a little bit more. And now it doesn't overlap. And let me just turn the background color on. I'll change it to white. And that makes a really nice image. The other thing you can do is you'll see this color overlay in the opaque borders. So let's say I wanted to change this border color. We can just double click the word color overlay. And then if you wanted to change it to white, you could maybe I'll change it to like a warm, dark color. Click OK. And that's about it. For more information about Distress Border Automator, follow the links below the video to thevectorlab.com. And while you're there, be sure to check out T-Shirt Design Master Collection, my largest bundle of T-Shirt Design courses, tutorials, textures, templates, and other resources that will improve and speed up your T-Shirt Design process. Thanks for watching.